This isn't normal anymore, why am I frightened about telling her this? My request is not even burdensome or tasking. Anyway, I'll still say it because I have no other options. Oh, here she comes. Honey? How was your day? My day was fine. I have a simple request to make. What is it? Some of my colleagues will be coming over to the house tomorrow for some discussions. I just thought that I should let you know to avoid surprises. What do you mean by surprises? So you think that I can't behave myself, right? No, I didn't say so. Like I said, I felt that I should let you know. <clears throat> this one she left angrily, I don't want drama tomorrow. Well, till then. We have to review the accounts. Alright sir, I'll do that right away. Philip. Why are you dressed like that? What is wrong with my dressing? Please go back and change what you're wearing. Besides, where are you going dressed like that? There's nothing wrong with what I'm wearing, and I won't go back to change it. Okay, at least give us some time to finish up this meeting. I don't have any time to waste. I need some money to go to the market, and I need it now. Couldn't you ask for it before we started this meeting? Why are you asking me now in front of everyone? Will you give me the money now, or you want me to disgrace you here? Please, give me a little time. We're almost through with the meeting. You're a very stingy man, so you won't give your wife money to buy groceries when she needs it? You want me to wait for everyone to leave so that you can give me more excuses, right? It's okay, please come and take the money. Nonsense, now you know that you'd bring the money. You should have continued talking so that I'll finish you. Chai. What type of woman did I marry? Foolish man, I'll ensure that I continue to frustrate you, since you don't want to let me be. Grace, are you also going to the market? Yes, why? Don't you think your dressing is inappropriate for a mother like you? Please, I don't want to hear that from you. I've had enough already. I'm just here for the bus, so let me be. What kind of example are you setting for your daughter? Don't you know that she's learning from you? There's nothing wrong with my lifestyle. If she chooses to be like me, then it's fine. It's definitely not fine at all, tomorrow I will tell. That's enough, goodbye. She doesn't realize that she's teaching her daughter all the wrong things. I've been trying my best to correct her but she wouldn't listen. I hope that she learns someday. Why did you do that during the meeting today? <laughs> You're asking as if you are new to this house. Next time, you won't bring your colleagues home. I wanted to avoid situations like that. That was why I informed you on time about the meeting. Why do you take pleasure in disgracing me? I want you to stop questioning my choices, talking about the way I behave, dress or raise our daughter. Whenever I'm doing anything you don't like, do not complain. I just want to do everything my own way. But I can't let you do that. It'll have a very bad influence on our daughter. I've answered the question you asked me. If you don't let me be, then I'll keep pestering you. That is all I have to say. My mom warned me about marrying her but I didn't listen. I thought that I could change her. I should have listened to her. Why do I always meet this woman whenever I'm on my way to the club? She better not say anything to me if she doesn't want me to insult her. Grace, my dear. How are you doing? What is it again? I don't want you to waste my time at all. You can see that I'm on my way to a very important party. So because of a party, you won't respond to the greetings of your future mother-in-law. You're wasting my time. Why did you stop me? I wanted to know how you were doing, and also suggest that you go back to change your clothes. It's too inappropriate for you to wear. What makes you think that you can tell me what to wear? You're like a daughter to me and I care about you. Your dressing will send the wrong message to anyone that sees you, and it doesn't represent the nature of Christ. Don't you know that your appearance speaks volumes about you? I'm not interested in preaching to anyone, as a matter of fact. I don't believe in God, so allow me to live the way I want. Really? 
You don't believe that Jesus Christ came to die for your sins, so that you will have everlasting life? He came to save you from sin and all the works of the devil, if only you'd believe and accept him into your life. I told you this already, I don't believe that story and I won't accept him. If you don't mind, I have to leave now. I cannot believe this. Why does my son want to marry an unbeliever? She is very irresponsible, all she does is party and smoke every day. I have to talk him out of this before he makes the worst mistake of his life. I met your fiancé on my way to the grocery store today, and you won't believe what happened between us. What happened? First she ignored my greeting, and when I tried talking to her about her dressing, she told me off, she has no regard for me at all. And then I realized that not only is she not born again, but she won't even consider it. Why do you want to marry her? Mom, I've told you so many times. She's the woman I love and I want to spend the rest of my life with her. So you don't mind if she disrespects me? I do, I'm sorry about that, and I'll talk to her about it. You're a devoted Christian, why will you join yourself with someone who doesn't have the same beliefs as you? 2 Corinthians 6 verse 14 says this, do not become unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what partnership have righteousness and lawlessness? Or what fellowship has light with darkness? She always dresses indecently, remember that she is not only going to be your wife, but the mother of your children. What do you think she'll teach them? I've been talking to her to change, and she promised to do so. I believe that over time she'll stop doing all that. If she's not making any efforts to change now, what makes you think that she'll change after marriage? I love her so much, and I think that I can overlook all her errors. When you start regretting in the future, remember that I warned you about it. I wish that I could go back and make a different decision. Now I'm the talk of the town, even my colleagues lack respect for me. That was so embarrassing, why would she disrespect her husband that much? And it was so bad that she did it in front of everyone, I wonder why she couldn't wait for us to leave. I've always heard rumors that she disregards him a lot, but I didn't believe it. I just confirmed it myself. That's really bad. Mom, some of my friends are avoiding me because of you. They said that their parents warned them never to talk to me again, so that I won't influence them. They say you're a bad example of a mother. Don't mind the people saying that, they're just jealous of you. So, you're saying that I should learn from you? Of course, you can. You should always dress to please yourself and disregard what everyone else thinks. It's your life and you should live it the way you want. When will you give me the money for the business? I've told you that I want to open the shop before the end of next month. Please give me a little more time, there's a set of goods coming into the country soon and I hope to get it. When I receive it, then I'll give you the proceeds from the sales. When the time comes, I don't want you to tell me stories. Ensure that you give me all the money that I need. There's no problem. Once I'm able to secure the goods, I'll give you all the money that you need. On that note, I want you to take this $400, submit it at the accounting department of the office. The money is the last clearance that I need to make, so that I'll get the goods when they arrive. Okay. How can I submit this $400 when I'm in need of money for clothes? I'll take $100 and submit the remaining $300. I'm sure that they can still work it out with that amount. What? How come? Why did they refund me the money instead of sending the goods? And the money isn't complete. My wife has to explain what happened. Did you submit the complete money that I gave you? I submitted $300 and took $100. What? Why will you do that? I needed to get some new clothes, that was why I took it. But I told you the purpose of the money, that was the only way to qualify me for the goods I told you about. Now, they've refunded the money and sent the goods to someone else. What it means is that I can't start the business for you now. Since you've wasted the only chance that I had to make enough money to support you. You can't say that, you have to find other means of raising the money. I must start the business next month and that's it. 
You should have gone to submit the money yourself. Now you're blaming me for taking a little out of it. Why are you always doing this to me? Why do you keep frustrating all my efforts? You knew that I behaved this way when you decided to marry me, so you better not complain now. You have to do that for me, if you do not want me to make this house unbearable for you. Grace continued to frustrate her husband as the years went by. Several years later, their daughter got married. Welcome home. Thank you. I'm so hungry. Please get me some food. Food? From where? You're joking, right? What do you mean by from where? I mean the food you cooked, or didn't you keep some for me? I didn't cook anything. Was I supposed to do that? Are you playing or what? How can you say that you didn't cook? Let me check the kitchen myself, because I know you're joking with me. You really didn't cook anything, why? I didn't feel like it. Maybe you should do it instead. You didn't do anything all day, and you still expect me to cook after coming home from work? Are you out of your mind? What is wrong in that? After all, my father would do it without complaining. Why is yours different? Well, I'm not your father. Let this be the last time something like this will happen in this house. I will not tolerate it at all. Is that clear? Mum, can you believe that he beat me up, just because I didn't cook for him? And when I told him that my father wouldn't react that way, he said that he's not my father and will never accept that. I told you from the beginning, if you do not want to be treated that way then you have to act on time. You know how I relate with your father, I ensure that I disturb him so that he can't complain. That is the only way to make him stop beating you. Don't take any rubbish from him. If he threatens you, threaten him too. And if he beats you, fight back. Okay. Starting from today, I'll challenge him so much. Dad, can I join you in the car? I'm ready to go home now. Of course. Come let's go. My dear daughter, I've tried my best to lead you to Christ right from when you were a child, but you wouldn't make up your mind. I've advised you not to follow the ways of your mother but you wouldn't listen. Well, I can only advise you but will not force my decisions on you. Before you married your husband, I told you not to do that because he's not born again. I didn't want you to repeat my mistakes, now you see the consequences of your actions? He turned out to be a wife beater. Still, you want to make the biggest mistake of your life, by listening to your mother on marital matters. If you do as she said, you will destroy your marriage completely. Till today. I keep praying for her, hoping that one day, God will touch her heart and she will repent. Don't treat your husband like your mother has been treating me, it will never work out. Instead, give your life to Christ and let God be the foundation of your marriage. A marriage that is built on Christ who is the rock, will never fail. It's not too late to invite him into your life and marriage. Okay dad, I've heard you, I'll think about it. Whose advice should I follow now? Dad has been saying this for years, but I want to be like my mother. I think I'll follow her advice. Maybe it'll work for me as it did for her. My dear, I have a lot to do today. So, I need you to help me deposit this $500 in the bank. There's a business transaction that I need to do with it later in the day. Okay, I'll do that. Please dress properly while you're leaving. Don't go out wearing this. It's indecent. Why should you tell me what to wear? It's my body and my life. I'll decide what to do with it. Now I can buy the dress I've been desiring for months. I'll deposit $400 and take $100. Yes! Where is that woman? What is the meaning of this? You're home already? Welcome. Where's the remaining $100? You better bring it, or pack your bags and leave my house. I cannot take it any longer, didn't I tell you what I wanted to use the money for? Now you caused me to lose a huge business deal. 
What happened to the $400 I gave you last week for your upkeep? It's finished. You're so disrespectful and extravagant. In fact, you're leaving my house today. Is that not peace over there? Why is she crying? I have to find out. What is the problem? Why are you crying? My marriage is about to be destroyed, and I don't know what to do. Tease told Lucy her story and they had a lengthy conversation. So my dear, it's never too late to give your life to Christ. Make him the Lord over your life and family, and trust him to work things out for you. I'm ready, please lead me to him. Mom, that was how my marriage was saved. Since then, my husband has also given his life to Christ and we both enjoy peace and love in our marriage. I think it's high time you did the same. You owe Dad a big apology for everything you've put him through the years. I feel so ashamed of myself, I've been a terrible wife and mother. How can I recover all the wasted years? Look at me, I'm old already. But I'm truly happy that you made this realization now so that you'll enjoy a peaceful and long marriage. Honestly, there's no gain in living the way I've lived. It feels so lonely. I will apologize to your father, I hope he can forgive me. I am sure he will forgive you. He loves you very much. Darling, I'm really sorry for everything that I've done to you. My errors are too many to count, but I hope you'll find it in your heart to forgive me. I'm happy that this day has finally come. You are, and will always be my lovely wife. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 5 says, Love does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. So my dear, you're forgiven. Thank you so much. You're welcome. It's so important to be mindful of whom you marry, because they can make or mar you. They will not only be your spouse but the parent of your children, which means that they will raise and shape their lives too. When choosing a partner, you either choose a prayer partner or a prayer point. Which would it be? Please subscribe to our channel. Also like and comment on this video. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.